here in Alvin. And I uh, just want to show you what's going on here. We noticed that there was a leak up here. We were told that there was a leak up here. And so we looked up here, we saw that there's a new repair done over here to stop that leak, but apparently it wasn't successful. So we did a little bit more looking and uh, what we discovered here is right in this uh, middle area where JW is going to point to us right now, we've got a dip in the roofing system. If you can tell that that shingle actually dips backwards. See if I can show you. Right on this side, on that side right here, the shingle dips backwards. Yes, exactly. And that right in that area. And so what it does is it gets in, gets into the uh where's the shingle joint? Here you go. There's a shingle joint right here. So the water's getting in right here. It goes underneath, right where my finger's going under. It travels back to where this shingle joint is and it gets underneath here. Now keep in mind, this shingle stops right here. So if it's getting in a secondary layer here, it's actually going behind the shingles, going into the felt, and then it goes out under the felt, finding the nearest path. And if there's a hole in the felt, it goes right in there. So you might be seeing a leak anywhere in this area because the water's getting in right here in this dip. So our recommendation is to go three shingles, three shingles up, three shingles down, replace this area, area right here, replace this area, put a storm guard liner all the way up and down here, and then replace the shingles in here, not nailing these two, the two shingles right here in the middle. You don't want to nail those because you're in that tricky area. You want to stay out of that area with the nail. So you just tar the shingles here and replace all these shingles, put storm guard in there. It's a peel and stick membrane. It's heat activated and it's self healing. So if there are any holes in it, they heal back up when the sun heats it up. It bonds to itself, so it's self-healing. Anyway, that's what we recommend for this transition area here, and that'll stop your leaks. Um, not sure about much over here. It looks pretty decent. Uh, some of the transition areas are not connected very well. You, you have some of the old shingles hitting the new shingles that are not tarred down very well, so those need to be fixed. It's not too big of a deal. That's like a basic roof tune-up, which, by the way, is necessary on this roof because you've got some exposed nails like this over here. They just need some caulking on top of them, a nice bead of caulking. And uh, JW, was there anything else? Uh, no, that looks like it. And that's about it. We do highly recommend to replace these boots. They're plastic and rubber, and eventually they will break apart. It looks like down here, you did replace those. Somebody did. This is basically one step up from those over there to these, because they're metal instead of plastic. But you can still see they still got a rubber washer here, which is not the greatest. What we'd like to do is put a lead jack a lead one around those boots so that you won't have any future issues with them at all.